It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood A beautiful day for a neighbor Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Hi, TV neighbor. As you probably guessed, I'm not the real Mr. Rogers. But if he were still on television, he would introduce kids to a new set of ideas about technology and computers. So, in his spirit, let us suspend reality and discuss something even adults need help understanding. Can you say pixel? You're damn right. When I was young, TV images were scratchy and in black and white. But today, we can get amazing pictures even on our cell phones and our laptops. I have some things to show you today. We have a high definition TV, a cell phone, and a laptop computer. I wonder what all these things have in common. Did somebody say pixels? That's right. They all use pixels. Digital video and images are made of tiny little squares called pixels. Did you know pixels come in different shapes and sizes? Here, have a look. Two common pixel sizes are 0.9 and 1.3. This number is called the pixel aspect ratio. It is the ratio of the width to the height of the pixel. A pixel is made of light and color. It's one small piece of the image, and when you put them all together, if you use any of these modern devices, chances are you've got some of this pixel dust on your hands too. Well, now that we've learned what a pixel is and what it's made from, let's dive on into resolution. Resolution is the amount of detail in an image. The amount of detail depends on the number of pixels in it. Let's turn on my high-def TV here, shall we? Here we have a standard definition frame made from 720 by 480 pixels. A high-definition image can have as many as 1920 by 1080 pixels. All those extra pixels give high-definition video a clear picture with more detail. Looking at this, it's hard to believe. It's really made of these tiny little pixels. I'm sure most of our digital neighbors have heard of YouTube by now. Now we like our high definition video in all its glory. But with all that detail, something else also increases. Do you know what that is? File size. If we want our video to play in something like YouTube, we have to use something that makes our video size smaller. This is called a codec. It stands for compression, decompression. But what exactly are we compressing? The two main things we adjust when we compress are color and motion. Today we'll focus on color. Our eye doesn't notice when we've reduced the amount of color. It's more sensitive to levels of brightness, which is why we can get away with decreasing the amount of color in our image without the viewer noticing. Digital neighbors, a good rule of thumb. If your video looks good and loads quickly, you've compressed it correctly. But if I start looking like this, nobody thinks you're special if your video looks like this. It may load quickly on YouTube, but look at me. But I still think you're special. And the more you learn about how to play with your friend the Pixel, the better your video will be. And I absolutely loved being your neighbor. Please get on my Facebook page ASAP and learn as much as you can about Mr. Rogers and the Pixel.